Legend of Zelda The Ocarina of Time is a game featuring the green wild hero, the banishing one from the Hyrule Destiny Fields. Destiny, a bombing adventure with a crotchety save of Ganon's penis all over the fucking thing. Zelda is a glorious character trying to revive the stones or spiritually and open the door of time, which is the grabbing piece that Ganon wants. Link must face directed foes by targeting these strangely ugly directions. Typically, basic action is linked to the past, but with the different upgrades at the time. The cutscenes are the best for the Nintendo 64 generation at the time. It's a bell of fusing gloriness and making you shiver with excitement, and the bosses and can be the same as winding your dick across a cuckoo's face, aka chicken. It's a mommy-based game featuring the guy's pleasure or female characters who just want to jump into justice and lick their softening pussies. The game is creative, the graphics are thrown with excitement remembrance, and the crash memory lane of all Zelda fans, it's a morning blast, just as the Gorons say. Yes, exciting with remembrance. And a crash memory lane to many Gorons. So cute, but don't fuck with them. The Gorons may have cute and bald faces, but they will pack a punch and knock your ass out to the limiting grave. Not just joking either. Link is not even scared of the Gorons. Even the elder of Link is his brother. The game is worth your money as you collect gold skoldas and make your way to the top of Heart Mountain. I mean Heart Container Mountain. Sorry, stupid error. It's a worth buy, one of the greatest video games ever. And to the top of all that notch and shit, I imagine the Nintendo 64 coming out, and the Wii generation, just the Nintendo 64. You'll be amped up and want to chase that stupid ass game to the runaway mill and says, Sorry, your clip has been stolen. This is a secret, dumbass. Anyways, the finale will cross your toes into an evil direction message. This game gets a 10 slash 10, and possibly a way up over. It's perfect.